welcome to another video this is wild unfiltered why the name because wild is my name and unfiltered because this is a safe space for all of us to talk about anything and everything that we want to so welcome to everyone so today's video is just going to be a really quick one and i wanted to open a discussion of is it worth buying a hermes constance we don't see much about the constants do we um, I think as you guys know i'm a little bit of a hermes lover and i'm very lucky to have a few bags and when i was doing my um wish list maybe about a year ago or so i was talking to my contact at hermes and was discussing whether the constants would be a good bag for me and i think it's not classed as a quota bag it's a little bit confusing as to what the rules are because they seem to be different in different places but in my own experience you can have two quota bags in every 12 months um now i don't know if it's 12 months since the date you got one or whether it's in the calendar year i'm not sure however it seems to be that for me that two will be offered in in a year um, now, the Constance isn't classed as one of those two, but it is a wish list item. So you can't go in and just buy a Constance and you can't go, you can't go in and order one. Um, I think something like the Evelyn and maybe the Garden Party, you could probably... I might be wrong because I've never bought those bags. Although I do like them. Um, but I suspect with like the Evelyn, you could probably message your essay and ask him if he can get you one. And it might take a little while, but he'll look out for one and it can probably get one at some point. Whereas the constants goes on your wish list, um, like the quota bags do, but it doesn't count towards the two a year. So, yeah, when we're talking about it, my um, sales associate was very much, it's a beautiful bag. And I really think, he knows obviously my collection and he thought it would be a really good addition to my collection. So, yeah. You don't get to see them. The problem is when you're doing your wish list, you don't know if you want the bigger size, the smaller size, you know, on your body frame or what you're looking for. It'd be nice to see them, but it's just not always possible that they sometimes have one or two in store um, at different sizes just so you can sort of see. But it's it's often very difficult. So I took the chance that I wanted the Constance 24 not the Constance 18 because I felt the Constance 18 would be a little bit too small and I wanted to be able to use it to, you know to be able to put those essentials in and not have an, a, another mini bag I've got a couple of mini bags so I was looking for something not a big bag but something that could fit a few more bits in and therefore it could be a day bag or an evening bag and yeah I decided I wanted it in Epsom. I'm not sure if they, what, I think they also come in maybe um, a goat skin. I'm not too sure, but I definitely wanted Epsom and I wanted gold hardware. I just did. I was going through a phase at that point that I wanted gold. I now love both and happy with both. But um, yeah, that went onto my wish list. And I decided I wanted black because I just thought it was uh, an easy, beautiful everyday colour and of course who doesn't love black so anyway it came through my wish list very very quickly but the one that he offered me was a constance with a lizard um hardware and i didn't even ask how much more it was but i knew it'd be more than the the normal constance and I just wasn't sure about lizard. I just wasn't sure about an exotic. Um, so I left it and I did think when I left it, I didn't see it. It was just over message. We've got this. Are you interested? And yeah, my gut instinct said no. And then I worried that if you say no, you're not going to get another bag or get another offer. And actually that, that really isn't true in my case. Anyway, I've turned down quite a few bags now and I will only buy one that I really want and if I have to wait for it I have to wait for it it's absolutely fine anyway get back onto the story so yeah it wasn't long maybe a couple of weeks even later and um yeah this this arrived so 
So this is the exact one that I wanted. So it is um, the black Epsom leather with the gold hardware and this is the Constance 24, which means it's 24 centimetres. And you can see it's actually quite a big boxy bag. Now the handles double up and I, I just love how it loops. I love that look. And yeah, it can go on your shoulder like that. And also, obviously, you can put this strap. So it's a sh it's really a shoulder bag. That's the only thing. The, the the strap drop here. I can just about get this crossbody, but it's very, it's just too short really for me. So especially over anything bulky. But I, th I think you could you could definitely get away with it crossbody. But as I say, I don't tend to do that, even though I don't really like a shoulder bag in general there's something about this one that's absolutely beautiful how could you not fall in love with this so yeah there's nothing on the back it's just plain on the back and then it opens up so you, you just pull the bit in between the h's and it opens up and you can see it's a beautiful i think it's box it might be swift i think it might be swift leather on the inside and again you can see it's got two compartments and the zip so yeah, the inside is beautiful, soft, buttery. Um, I think it's swift leather. And then you see there's two compartments and the zip compartment at the back. And it's just so beautifully made. So yeah, you cannot fault the quality of this bag. You really can't. So yeah, what do I think about it? Well, I absolutely love the quality of it. Epsom leather is absolutely beautiful. The shiny gold hardware is just to die for. The width of this means you can fit quite a lot in it. And it's just, it just feels, you can feel the quality of this. It's very, very light. Again, part of that is probably the leather. Um, and it does, as you can see inside, it has a lot of, you know, there's a lot of leather in this in this bag. There's different compartments. So it's very comfortable to use. And even though I generally like a top handle bag or I like a, a, a bag that can go cross body, for some reason, I don't mind using this on the shoulder. I think the look of it, I will do some cutaways um, of me wearing this and yet yeah, there's something about this it's just understated yet elegant yet practical yet beautiful and i absolutely love it so let's talk about the downsides to it so first thing is the hardware i have tried to polish this and i don't know if it'll come up on camera there's a couple of little scratches here you can see me filming that um so there are a couple of scratches and I have really looked after this bag. I really have. And I'm very careful when you are opening it, not to be like pushing the, the metal in between in order to, to close it again. And yeah, you don't want it to be a faff, do you? You just want it to be able to work. But inevitably it has got scratch, which I just, ugh, it's so annoying. But I think all of the hardware, particularly, I mean, this is the same as the H, uh, the Constance belts. They just scratch and even if you're very careful with them, I think that's just, I think the Hermes um, metal just does that. So that's the first downside is it, you know, the metal is actually quite big on it and because of how it fastens, um, inevitably you're going to, you're going to get scratches. The leather itself, I, I think has been amazing. I can't see that you would get any there's no problems with it. So you can see on the inside, the Swift leather is absolutely beautiful. Now I've been extremely careful with what I put in this bag. Um, the actual compartments, um, again, the Swift leather in the inside as well. Um, this side is not, this is Epsom. So in the, and, but then it's Swift at this side. So it's a mix of the interior. And because of that, I am I do try and be very careful with what I put into this bag. I do that with every bag anyway. I use pouches and catch-alls and key fobs, um, like key clays and, or key 
um, holders rather than key rings and the pouches that I use I, I try not to use anything that's got any metal so I don't I try not to even use the mini pochette in, in here because that has the chain but I think I'm just being too precious with it and it's absolutely fine so inside it hasn't shown any signs of wear at all at the moment so that's really good um yeah the only the downside there's two of the downsides I can think of this bag um one is that if the strap was just a little bit longer then I could wear it crossbody a little bit more comfortably so for me personally I would like it to be a little bit longer the strap and it isn't adjustable it is it's just one loop that goes round um having said that if it was longer you wouldn't then be able to wear it on the shoulder and it would look too long and it, it is actually a really nice length it is actually a really nice length to wear double up on the shoulder as, as it is now so that's a little bit of a it'd be nice occasionally to wear this crossbody but it's a very elegant looking bag it's not really a casual crossbody look so yeah and it's also because it's quite boxy and it's quite it, you know it's not a small bag it's not a massive bag but as i say it's 24 centimeters so because of that i think maybe if you did wear crossbody it might be a little bit bulky and feel a little bit boxy it might be it doesn't multi body for example so yeah and then the other downside i can think of this is the price this is super super expensive this is i can't remember the exact price of this and it should be etched on my brain by now but it's pretty much the same price as the kelly it's a little bit less but not much less and yeah so for me it's is it worth it is it worth the same amount of money as virtually it's in the same ballpark to put it that way is this worth the same as a kelly well that's i suppose for you guys to decide i suppose that's that's the thing for you guys to to decide um if you were thinking of getting a constance because for me i love this bag and i don't regret buying this at all i never buy a bag in order to sell i don't buy a bag thinking it's an investment but it's nice to know that should I want to or have to sell any of these bags, then I'm making savvy choices and I will be able to at least get my money back. So, and there should be quick, <laughs> quick turnarounds. Um, I don't know. I've never tried to sell one. We'll see, won't we, if ever that happens. I think it's one of those questions, isn't it? Uh, is it worth it? Well, it's worth it if it's worth it to you. If you love it, if you use it, if you if it makes your heart sing, all of those things, then it's worth every penny. And if it's not, and it's turned out to be not quite what you wanted, and it's sat on a shelf, and yeah, it, it doesn't make your heart sing, you don't use it, you don't want, to, you're not a collector, so you're not wanting it for that reason, then it's not worth it, is it? For me, I'm so pleased I managed to get my hands on one of these. I am 100% sure that I went for the right size constants for me. I didn't want the mini one. The mini ones, I think, an 18. I think they're just a little bit too small for me. And I have uh, wallet on chains and other, other small bags. And I do like to carry a fair few little bits with me. Um, and as I say, I've got a petite mal, I've got a wallet on chain, I've got other small bags and I do find it a pain to fit in what I want to fit in. So yeah, I'm glad that I went for the Constance 24. I would buy it again. So if this, I did a video actually the other day, which was if I had to start my collection over, which um, items I would 100% buy again. And I didn't include this only because there were so many already in that video that I would have gone on forever. Um, but this is definitely one that I am so glad that I've got. I don't know if I'd buy another version of this now i've got this one i think maybe one constance is probably enough for me um even in another color another leather i don't know i just sort of feel that this is my my one and only baby and i think that's enough for me so 
me not wanting another one, a duplicate of it, doesn't mean that I don't love the one I have. I adore this. So, yeah, is it worth it? To me, it is. I'm not going to try and sell this tomorrow and then not be able to recover my costs like you maybe can with the Kelly. I still think these hold their value anyway, so that I don't think that's the consideration. But as I say, I don't sell my bags. I don't buy a bag in order to to sell or to think about selling anyway. So if that is a consideration to you, then maybe you'd have to have a look and see what the resale value of these are. Um, but the other reason I like this is that you don't see that many of them. Much as Kelly's and Birkin's are crazy hard to get hold of and crazy expensive. In real life, you do see some sometimes and definitely on Instagram and on YouTube, they're everywhere, aren't they? The constants is a little bit less so. And I like that. I like the fact that when I'm wearing this, nobody really knows what it is. If you know, you know, and you know the hit, what the H is. Um, but the only people that have ever really complimented me on this bag, I don't think I've known what it is. They've just said, oh, I really like it. It's an unusual shape. Is it because of the loops, I think, and the H. And yeah, so for me, it's understated, elegant, beautiful. Quality craftsmanship is out of this world. So to me, it's worth every penny and I love it. So yeah, just a quick video to show my constants. And yeah, if you've got any questions or you want me to do more of an in-depth review of it, um, let me know. But in the meantime, I'll do a couple of mod shots so you can see what it's like on my curvy UK 14 body frame. And just for reference, I'm five foot four. So yeah, that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching and I might see you on another one.